All right, so 3D printers. Why is a 3D printer lean for the wood shop? So these are little trays we bought right here. These are from Home Depot. We get them, they're super handy. They fit screws really well. You see we got different screws in them. But one of the things my guys found is they were always, they couldn't find their bits, couldn't find things, and they needed more than one set of screws. We don't use a ton of them. So what we've done is we've 3D printed these trays. So we can put our small little screws that we don't use that many of and then have bit holders. So we just printed these. We're going to show you we're printing some of the office right now. So we print these, put them on the trays. That way we can have our big user screws here and the ones we just need a few of right there. And then the, the different tips, usually we're using a square bit, which is right here, a square tip, which is right here. For these screws, we like them better, but these are not square tip. These are Phillips. And so we got our Phillips bit right here if we need to switch out and use those. So you're going to continue to buy this bin, but what you're doing is printing this actual tray. Correct. This part here. Yeah, so these just clip right in. If I can get it out, they clip in really tight because they're, they're meant to stay. But I'm trying to do it without spilling the screws. Basically, what I'm trying to do. Alright, we didn't spill. Only spilled one screw. That's good. So, yeah, the, the trays come like this. And what's meant to happen is they're meant to actually uh, nest together. So, you put these little pieces out on the bottom and then. You put these and you clip them together so you can stack them and have more than one. Well, we don't need more than one of these big trays. We just need a couple more screws. So we just did this, set that up, and lock right into place, and then we can fit everything we need. Sweet, let's go see it printing. Perfect. All right, we're here in the office. We wrote this program, oh, a week or so ago, and we're starting to print them. We, we tried a couple to make sure the guys like them. So, and we originally, we actually originally started out with a less expensive printer over here. These actually aren't too bad, but when you start printing in bulk, the Prusa does a lot better job. Um, this Elegoo um, did okay, but when you start doing mass prints, um, it failed a little more often than I wanted. And so we went ahead and picked up the Prusa. And that Prusa has been it's been amazing. This is actually our second one, so we have we have two now because we're printing so much stuff. So for me, having a 3D printer is lean. We do things like this, like this tray we just showed you. We print parts for our machines. So we had some parts the other day. Uh, we had to replace uh, some bearings. We had to pull down a linear guide rail out of our spray machine. And I went to order the caps to cover the screws so they wouldn't get dirty. And they said it was a special order item that had to come from Italy. So we just wrote a quick program, 3D printed them all in a night, and put them in the next day. So super cheap, cost us 2 or $3 in filament to print those caps, and we didn't have to wait forever to get them from Italy and, and pay that cost. So anyway, for me, 3D printer is lean. We do lots of stuff with it. You know, we print trays that hold tools, different things like that. There, there's so many ideas that you can come up with. What about the refrigerator? Oh, yeah. We had a little clip on our refrigerator break so the door wouldn't shut all the way, or all the time. It'd pop open. Just print one. Install it. It's fixed. So, anyway, love the 3D printer. Highly recommend getting one for your wood shop needs. And we'll link it down in the description, so check that. We'll also link the filament that Tyler uses, as well as any other useful information. So... Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Okay, one question I think we're going to get asked is you said we just programmed it. What software did you use? How did you do it? Who did it? So we used Fusion 360. My 16-year-old son loves to program it, so he actually did the, the 3D model, and then we used the Prusa slicer to create the actual code for the Prusa. So pretty simple process. Um, get you a 16-year-old and a 3D printer. Then it's really easy. Yeah, you're already paying for the 16-year-old. Might as well put him to work, right? Exactly. So, um, is he the only one that does like the programming for this kind of stuff, or do you have other guys on staff that know how, or is it really? We do have other guys on. So I know how to use the slicer. I haven't uh, delved into the actual 3D modeling, but we do have one other guy, actually two, on site that can do the 3D models as well. Sweet.
Tschüss. See you.